On February 17, 2023, when police investigated Nikki Sue Ensel's house fire, they learned her husband Chad was dead days before the blaze started. The first hours are hard to watch because Nikki cries a lot and her speech isn't clear. But guess what? Then Detective Joe Earns rolls in and he is to be commended for his role in breaking Nikki down. But before jumping into the interrogation, let's have a moment of silence for Chad Ensel. Like I said, I cleared my schedule. I might have to jump out to take a phone call here now and then, just because I can't completely hide away. <laughs> um, once again, I, I apologize so much. I couldn't get back to you. Like I said, I was in court. It just, the judge doesn't let me take phone calls or anything, so. I'm sorry, I just need it. No, and uh, Nikki, you don't have to apologize for that. I just need to I, I can't tell you how sorry I am. Okay, that's me. I'm sorry for that. Um, everything else going okay? We just drove yesterday. And Jeffrey said I cried. I cried for him. That's why I wanted to do it one last time, so we can get all this done. And like I said, so that way tomorrow after you're done, you can grieve, move on, take care of your family, get all that stuff. You know, and like I said, it's gonna be a long road ahead for you. But I just, I want, I want me to quit harassing, or you know, to bother you in this process. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, this is what I'm gonna write my report off of. Um, you know, to finish this up. Let's just get started. So uh, right away, your. I just want to make sure I have your name down because I wrote it down on my notepad. Oh, okay. But it, it's the full because I know it's Nikki. Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's just take it nice and slow because I don't hear it. N I K K I space S space or dash space. Okay. S U E space M E L I S S A E. Okay, so this no, is no, no. Oh, it's like okay. yeah, so I'm just my last name now, last name now, no e, right there. Okay, all right. Okay. okay, so this is your full first name, Nikki Sue. Melissa, this is my first or name. Or Nikki Sue. Okay, so let me just get this so I have this right. This is first. This is middle. Mm -hmm. And then. Uh, e N T Z. Yeah. Okay, and did you have a maiden name before? Yeah, this? H E I N Z. H-E-I-N-Z, yeah. Okay, all right, and date of birth, just make sure. 2581. 1981, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'll keep it's that. Okay. 2020 is throwing me off here. Um, okay, so, got that. And phone numbers, just so that I have the new ones, or do you oh. have a new phone number? So, I'm using my work number. Okay, what is that again? 701. That's the one you're calling for, yeah. right? 701 460, remember? 6908. Okay. All right. Um, well, like I said, I'm going to start all over again, okay? Just so that I have everything so I understand the, how the family works. Like I said, this is what I'm going to finish my report off with. I get it. So that way I write everything. Yeah, Obviously, that's what. I know what you mean. Well, like I said, you know, when we talked about this, when there's, you know, uh, you know, an unattended death and then a fire and, and, and all that. You know, especially like you said, you're already dealing with insurance. Um, so. I know you we didn't get to talk. No, no we haven't. So. Yeah, the guy who was really nice. Yeah, Joe. I think that was who you're talking about in the car. But like I said, this is I'm the guy that's got to write this big long report. So and you know, like I said, uh, you know how insurance companies are. Mm -hmm. uh, try to get a rough place sometime. They're they're pain to deal with. So. Um, I'm going to try to write this the best I can for you, um, you know, for the for the whole situation, so that they have no questions to ask and nothing to worry about here. Um, let's just start off. Who all lives in the house? And Chad. What is Chad's middle name? Alan. Alan. Hey, no, 
His date of birth was. Three thirty one seventy seven. Okay. And then Marcus. M A R C U S. Middle name Michael. Last name Hines. Last name. And date of birth. Eight. Oh. No, right, that's fine. Right. That, that's great. I, I almost forgot. Eight ten online. And. It's not like it's yeah. really Christopher. I'll put it like this because that, that, that's cute. I'm so sorry. No, that's cute. I, I like that. Christopher, right? Yeah. Because that's how I know him. I know. Christopher, I've only known him as Tootie from what we've talked about. And it's Michael. It's the same real name. And same last name, Heinz. Okay. And at the oh, 10, 11, 07. Okay. And we moved in at the weekend. We moved in like the weekend before Thanksgiving. Weekend before Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Thanksgiving weekend. Okay. Hold on. Um, let me catch up on this. Okay. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. I, I'm just a slow writer. The weekend before Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Okay, so is are Marcus and Christopher are they biological? They're up to they be half to each other. Okay. Or they do step they do step kids to Chad. Okay. Me and Chad have no kids together. I can't have any more kids. I have seizure and cancer when I was pregnant with Christopher. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Well I'm glad that Christopher made it okay though. That's great. Right. I mean you got two angels, how many more do you need, right? I have boys, you know how that goes. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. Um, so, all right. Uh, not okay. Not biological, but step. Step. Did he ever adopt? No, we were talking about it. Um, he was a huge part because he was like for six years. Yeah. You know. So well, I'm in the same boat. I have I have stepchildren too, but I've never known about anything but mine. You know what I mean? So. Uh, we just have never gotten around to it. But, uh, it's a long process. It's yeah, it's expensive too. But we don't really get you know obviously the cost, but it's a long process. Yeah. You yep. know, and our biggest thing is just, you know tacking down that issue. You know, because yes, is, is this the father then, my bones, or who who is the father of them? Um, are they adopt? I mean, are no, they? He's never met his dad. Just doesn't. Yeah. Whatever. My kids are from either. Yeah, and then he um. Ryan, um, neither of them are interested, they never met, so. Okay. Um, just so I know, in case, you know, I mean, like I said, as far do you have full custody yeah. of them? Yeah. Okay. And what was his name? So you have full custody? I have full custody of both of those. Okay. And what was the biological father's name? Um, Ryan. There's Christopher and Henry is Marcus. So Ray Henry right here. Okay. Ray Henry right here. And right, Ryan right here. Right. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Perfect. All right. I'm sorry. And Ryan's last name was what? Kaiser. Oh, okay. How do I spell that? Um, Any idea? Mm -hmm. Okay. Kaiser? Yeah. K I D. Just so I know how to say it. Okay. And then Henry was. Jones. Okay. And I don't remember that because we went to a ton of legal battles. Because oh. he was in the military and we went to a ton of battles. I guess that's what, as long as I remember right. Okay. All right. And they're out of the picture. They've never even met. Okay. Perfect. All right. Um, now, Nikki, what, I know you had your catering business. Mm -hmm. uh, is, and you, what, where else do you work again? Community Options. Okay. So, what's the name of your catering business? Nikki Savory Sweets. Nikki Savory Sweets. Mm -hmm. And I did... Um, it's called North Coast Cottage Ross. I got to work out of our home. Oh, okay. So that's that's just out of your home. You do all yeah, the baking there. Yeah, you can do North Coast Cottage So that explains home. all the big, like, 100 pounds of sugar <laughs> and flour. I was like, holy, they must... Okay, and yeah, all right. Well, you said it. I just never put it together, I guess. 
Um, Nikki, Nikki Savory Sweets, and then also. I don't, I've read it underneath in their code pad, like, that has to be, that has to be disclosed. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll put that, I'll just write that in right when I'm writing the report. I have, to, to, I have to have that on there. La, okay. Because it means I mix it out of my home. Okay, so here I got that. Okay. And I'll make sure out here I'll even put an asterisk by it. Important. <laughs> no, I'll remember that too. Um, okay, and then what was it? Community options? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And what do you do there? It's called Employment Specialist. Okay. I work with FPR program. Okay. It's like just people wanting to get back in. I didn't work. Okay. I want to go back to work. But it's like you're getting off the system. And so it's for like uh, someone who's gotten out of like uh, jail or out of the system of some sort? That or they like, like, say they're living on like welfare. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. All right. And then how long have you been employed there? Mm. Almost a month before that, I was at Dixon's. Okay, a month. So a month from. Today? Almost a month. Yeah, it'll be almost, almost a month. Okay. And before that, I was at Dixon's. What is Dixon's? The hazmat. We're going through our thing to get us gas. The gas agent. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And we went to Central Dispatch Program, so all of us are, all of us in the outlying offices are losing our jobs. Oh, I'm sorry. So. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I guess you got a, a good start on something that's really helping the community, though, too, but, um, so Dixon's, how long were you employed there? Um, almost three years. Almost three years? Mm -hmm. Before that, I was at, I was at United. United? Mm hmm No, the company. Oh, you're not moving. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really bad with all businesses and stuff. I, I like, I like Grubhub mm -hmm. and I like <laughs> stuff like that. So, all right. Um, okay. So we've got kind of your history on that uh, as far as your work history. Um, where have you all lived? Um, here in Aberdeen. Okay. Um, I've lived on the East Coast for a while. Where on the East Coast? In New York. Oh, cool. All right, like that upstate. Up in New York. Okay. All right. All right, and then, um, how long have you been in North Dakota? Then? Just six like years. Okay. All right, and then obviously you guys said you just moved in to this residence in mid-November. Um, and you remember, I remember uh, seeing you mention you had lived somewhere else too in this I place. I miss that place. I really like living out there. Yeah? What is it like about that place? There was no room. I should check it and have living there. Why didn't you like that in there? It was too close to everything. He found a place around pretty fair. Oh, okay. Um, I like living there. All the Tushy's friends were there. Is that, uh, I think, what was the closest thing to that? To go company. Oh, okay. All right. Now I know where you're at. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, did you guys live anywhere else in Bismarck or anything? We lived out on Twilight Road. He liked running up there, but he didn't like all the hazards because he had bad allergies. He didn't like all the what? All the hazards. Oh, was it a big yard? Is there any other place that you can think of? We lived in Nandan for a little bit. After, we had to live in Nandan because he sold this place by the liquors and it sold too fast and we didn't have a place to move into. Oh, so we yeah. had to live in an environment over in Nandan. Yeah, that's not the end of the world, but it's good. It's, it's harder when you can't sell a house and yeah. then you want another house. So, okay. Um, all right. So let, let's go into to chat a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so, first off, how did you guys meet? Through racing. Through racing? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know that. We didn't talk about that. So it was... We didn't talk about that. 
No, we didn't get a chance. So that's what I said when I came down to writing this report. I'm like, I really need to sit down and talk Through racing. Through racing? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what kind of racing were you going to? Uh, so check. Race check. Race check. Yeah, I'm just yeah. saying, was it like, I mean, were you doing the drags or were you doing No, it's like a like here, like... With the funny cars? No, like, um, how do you stack street stack? Oh, okay, all right, so... Yeah. I, my, uh, I'm my, sorry. No, 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 that's fine. I don't know a lot about it, but my, my sister, she married a guy who was into the, the little cars, the oh. funny cars, the legend cars. Legend cars, yeah. yeah. So yeah. he was like a big deal. Good morning, Wishick. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, they do. I was actually born on Wishick, so... Um, but yeah, she's doing, mm -hmm. I don't know a lot, but I know it's kind of an expensive mm -hmm. thing, but yeah. she says, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so you met through racing, mm -hmm. um, like, how about? just kind of took off from there, just, he right, you know, from West Racing, and. So you raced too, though? I was in racing, up and we took off from there, and I was in dance, so we traveled back and forth, and we only got to see each other, like, twice a month, because of my job, and. Track, so we each other maybe once a month, maybe twice a month. Were you guys dating then? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that, where did you meet at? Like in North Dakota or South Dakota? Or? In North Dakota. Well, it, we took time. Sometimes he'd come down to my place and sometimes he'd come to his place. Okay. Well, when you met the, when you met him, I mean, you know, oh, when you started Jamestown. Down, Jamestown? Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. um, all right. And, uh, so was he racing or? He was racing. Okay, yeah. and were you racing to that? No? Mm -hmm. Yes, and then he raced, like, he would go to Woodshake and race. Okay. Sometimes, and he raced up in Mandela, and he won the Governor's Cup there. He won it? Yeah, he won the Governor's Cup a couple times. Oh, wow. Okay. So, oh. yeah. But we traveled back and forth, and then, um, after, um, a year and a half, almost two years with me, we got engaged. At Green and Kent's wedding. Who are you going to Kent? Green and Kent. Best friends of his. Okay. We got engaged at their wedding. And Love was in the air, huh? Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> they came with us when we got married in Arizona. And they were, they stood up for us, so. Oh, okay. So, um, so this is after a few years, uh, you guys, he pop, did, did he pop the question? Mm -hmm. okay. at, the, at the reception. Oh, okay. Awesome. So, All right. Um, and so how long, how long after you, how long were you guys engaged for? A year. A year? Mm -hmm. Okay. And we still travel back and forth. Like, we travel back and forth. And like, sometimes they came up here and then to get them It's been a lot. It was hard because of the kids in school. So I was hard to move. Moving back and forth because of he's so rich of the schedule. Right. And then we come up here when we could. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got many things to look apart. Because my guess was not just good so good in school. He didn't want to do much because he was almost close to graduating. And then he asked the place, they do okay and didn't want to come up here. And he was like, yeah. So, then I moved in. Mm. So I just went from there to even that way and all this like that. Was that a big transition? I know, I've been through that. It's a transition. She it was, it was different for the boys, different for Chad. Mm -hmm. We tried to get him to be home for. Where was he going? He needs to go out. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's all his activities he has, so. I'm the best to sell his home now. Yeah. Just kind of sleeping in the place. Right. Um, with, uh... And then Teresa was Oh, really? Yeah. He really liked it. He wanted to see me. He wanted to see me. Because he kept switching the teams. And he never was both the same kids. So he didn't want to... He didn't want to do it anymore. Yeah. 
kind of tragic man. Anything ever happened to Elizabeth? Are you holding it in your Could you send that or Chad say? What did he say? Okay, with his sister. Chad did? The boys did. Christopher did. Oh, okay. This boys boys are same age as well, around the same age as Carter and Carson. Okay. So me and Lori got really became really close and Christopher hung out a lot with Tootie and Carter and Carson a lot. So we did a ton. I pick them up and we go to Sky Zone or we go out there and we get together and we have cookouts and I could have just opened up something. Yeah. Maybe I could have just opened up something. So they're close? The boys are really close. Lori's room? Really yeah. Okay. And they still are. Lori's good with the kids too? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm just thinking this might take, I'll, I'll try to hurry as fast as I can, but just in case this th this takes a little longer, like I said, I just want to be done. I don't mm -hmm. want to be anymore. Um, is there any way you think maybe Lori could maybe? grab the kids or, or stay with them just for a little bit so we can finish this and then we can be done? No, we'll be done. I'll be okay. I'll Okay. Um, tell me a little bit more about uh, uh, Chad's, um, your relationship with Chad and his relationship with the boys. Him and Marcus didn't do a whole lot together. They, Marcus is older, you know, and obviously kid, they kind of do their own thing, you know, you know, kind of sit in their own schedule and do their yeah. own thing. Tootie and Chad, I do a whole lot, you know, Tootie wanted to do different things, and Chad has this sports, he does a lot of those different things, and he's gone out of the home at least five, if not six nights a week, sometimes more, yeah. and uh, but it's nice enough when they go golfing and trip on more and all that. And, I, I was told, I said, we should do some more stuff, just me and you. So is he more active with the boys than he was with you? Mm-hmm. Oh. It's about the same. He, he, he left, it was usually just me and the boys home. Okay. Is what it was, and I said, we should just go do stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. Me and you. Just like, so, you know, the boys are older, and they can stay, you know, by themselves for an hour or two. We go hang out and he's like, what do you promise this person that he was going to suck for them or he was going to go golfing and do this or that and whatever. And I said, how about we go do something and we go do some stuff together and just us. Yeah. And I said, maybe we can go hang out and do something. I said, maybe just me and you. Please just, I wish you would just stop. Like, we can, I can go to counseling with you. Mm -hmm. 
take the money out of it. Yeah. And he said, you'll get better. Yeah. He said, you just don't worry about it. You just get better. He told me, he said, that's wrong. He said, okay. You just see him with like space. When did you start to notice his drinking increase? Like why the relationship? He wanted to leave. Tracks of his neck. He was not happy yet. When was that? Two years. Two years ago. So that's when this all kind of started? When you started noticing it, I guess? Well, he's always drank our entire relationship. Right. But when you said it, you said you saw it increase. Really bad in about two years. Okay, so that's two years ago, so what, 2018? 2017. Okay. I said, well, you just stop it. I got really bad. And I said, you just know, stop drinking. So we both of us is, to you, say, that the picture of the left of the bed. <laughs> so even the kids lost. Yeah, the kids. That's how it started. We started like grabbing him. How much was he drinking? He's a crowd. He's a pepper twelve. Like for two years. Oh my gosh. He's old. He's he's not old. I still remember. She told me to. He went to the or something that like. way. He went out. He came home. He was telling me. It was way after my clothes. Mm -hmm. And we stayed with him. We sat behind him. Yeah. He said, he was tired. He was away. Yeah. He had to live with him. And he told me to say, where was he at? Mm -hmm. Okay, it, it wasn't like darts or something or anything. Mm -hmm. Or, or when, what November was it? She said it was November. Of 
two years ago, November. Did it ever get worse from there, I think? They used to slam my arms in their in their doors. In the door? Like just a regular house door? I just you know it's really nice to me. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know why. She would break break a bone or anything. Maybe they were broken. My children were without the parents. They just felt like they were taking care of them. Did you ever go to a doctor? They just kept telling me to go. Oh. Same as with my children, not this thing. Because you're, yeah, because you're in conditions. Did they ever get suspicious about it or anything? Mm -hmm. Then they went back to police and we went to police for so long. That one picture, I don't know, did you guys see anything else on your phone? Um, I haven't been able to go through everything, like I said, that's just, that's bad with me, but I, I know that you showed me that night a picture of, I couldn't tell if it was an arm. What was that? Mm -hmm. Your arm. He said, I know you have to be told. He goes, when you have to report, he goes, I have to report. He goes, I have to report. I have to report my abuse. He goes, you wake up there. He goes, I'm going to get there. Okay. Who, who, who did you go to see? Dr. Carson. Dr. Carson. Carson. Or is he said Sam? Medjugorje. Medjugorje. Okay. Mm -hmm. I told me to go back. I told him. 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 Uh, yeah. It helps. So what, what are all your conditions again? Sorry about that. I have MS, neurodegenerative okay. nerve disease. So all my discs and all that are degenerating in my body. And then my cancer. And I have anemia really bad. And I Ms. Lawyer, I just asked that it be paused. It's noon. And if I'm reading it correctly, this goes on for a couple hours. It does, Your Honor. And so I'm fine with you continuing it if there's a, a better place to pause in the next five or ten minutes. I just don't want to we assume we're it, watching the next two hours. We can let it stop here, Your Honor, and take a lunch break. And then after lunch, we'll, we'll resume. So we'll take a break. If everyone can be back, so we're ready to come back into the courtroom at 1.30. Members of the jury, you are admonished and advised that you have a duty not to converse among yourselves or with anyone else on any subject connected with this trial. Okay. 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 That's why I don't know if I know what it is. I looked up. He was trying to do a quick run. He had help me with my car. When was this? Like three weeks ago. And where do you, where do you, where was this at? At a gym at Verge. At Verge. Oh, Verge Fitness. Okay. Yeah. And so then. So you saw him, you're on the treadmill and you see him out in the parking lot looking at your car. Yeah. And so then. I am home, and I said, you follow me? He goes, I don't fucking follow you. I said, you follow me, I see you, and I was going to hurt me. Yeah. I said, why are you following me? I said, you have to stop. This is crazy, you have to stop. And the other guy was spinning his head down on the counter, he goes, I don't know why I do the fucking things I do. Fuck this and fuck that. 
and he died. Okay. And I don't know where he went. He went he came home. And he sat down and had some drinks. And then and it just would be very quiet. Did he just drink his his drink straight? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mix. You said you'd be really quiet. What? I just was quiet. Like I just stay away. Like see. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just, cook something or do the wizards or when talk to the boys or I have a ton of training stuff to do like with work. Mm-hmm. Sit and do a ton of training stuff. I go sit and do it just right. Give them space. So, so that was two weeks ago. And so then, like, his training just got really mad and that's what we said. Like, how much would you say it increased? That would make you drink a whole bottle of Crown. I would drink a whole bottle of Crown and have a bottle of Pepper Shaw at night. And that was for two weeks. He drank down the whole. And this is a whole. Did he go out while he was drinking like that too, then? He just leave. Did you ever tell anybody about the abuse at all? I said it to a couple of friends, but it took a long time and I told them I was scared. Yeah. I didn't know that they were going to leave me behind me. Not a parent to a 12 year old. So, what was your plan? I started applying for jobs, just different places. And if, it, if I went back to one area, that would be enough money to support me and the boys. Yeah. And if I find a job, me and the boys just go. Maybe, maybe you would change and get better. You know. 
So you didn't know if you didn't know if he ever maybe that would be the thing that changed his drinking, or if that was maybe that was your chance to start over. I didn't know. Okay. Maybe I just went, just go. I didn't know. Yeah. How do you know? Well, you can't. I mean, and then, you know. So did you, I mean, how serious were you on applying for jobs? I mean, did you? I did, applied, and I've had some interviews on the phone. Oh, okay. Okay. When were you planning on, on going through it? I know you told me the other day um, you had, uh, was it an interview on it? I was 13. Okay. It's just, if anything else, you wouldn't tell you how to get a job. Yeah. You just have to take it day by day. were everywhere. Yeah. All different places. Like I have to figure out what would be best for the boys and right. like what we could get by with and So was there a, I mean was there a time that you're like, I think I'm gonna, you know, try for this. I know you said you had gotten new phones. We were, yeah, well, new process I was yeah. <laughs> the all the ice storm weather. Right. Kind of help show up. Yeah. No, I've been, the boys' I, gifts haven't even all the came yet. Oh, you Christmas gifts oh. haven't even all like, came up because of, of the bad weather. Like we haven't even had Christmas. We haven't had Christmas. Yeah. Well, maybe maybe that'll be a good thing for when this is all over. You know, to have that news. You know, that that time. And I was hoping everything would come to the elements yucky weather. with anybody else about him, like his family to try to get reach out or anything? Who did you talk his to? His sister. Okay. And even his sister said that they were in the car with my brother. I was in the car with my brother. Yeah, yeah. And the same thing his sister. And they told her, all they ever wanted to do was just quit drinking. And they had a lot speaker. She said, we were better than you. Dude, that's all we've ever wanted him to do is just stop drinking. Did she know how much she was drinking? <laughs> she did. She said it raises really okay because I asked before. Did she have a dad or anything? I don't know how long or he's been gone. He was passed away before I. Oh, so he's passed away. Okay. Did he was he drinking more? Okay. I know that the uncles. I'm sorry, do you? Do you need tissue or something? Yeah, just hang tight. Let me grab, do you want something to drink? Okay. Found some. I don't know where we stole it from. Was it just with the drinking? When he drank, it was up and down. But he, I mean, he won't go work. He changed his lead. He kept pretty square every he went. He would come home and drink more. 
did he did he get to work on time and stuff like that, or was he? I mean, was did he late all the time or late you know, or anything? Was, he always made to work. I don't know. Well, I guess yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, but he left the house or something at some point. Huh? Did he ever sleep or oversleep or something because of the, the drinking? Okay. So much. So much. He was so much. He was so much. Your your brother was there that night too. Had you yeah. ever told him? about it before. I remember you said you had said that you had kind of let him know about it the weekend before. I didn't really say all about it. I'm not, I kind of keep just everything to me. To myself. I thought this is something my brother. That was just because he asked me. The boy said something. Okay. The boy said something. Damn. I'm so sorry, my sweet. Did they call him or something? No, they told him and they were up for like, it was Thanksgiving. I don't remember what holiday it was. Did you have it at your house then or no? No, they were up with my brother in Dickinson. Oh, okay. So you went to Dickinson? No, the kids were up there. Oh, okay. They, they went up, they, my mom would come through okay. and pick up the kids. And they go up to Dickinson. And he, you because know, I has two nephews. You know, He's have two nephews. I have two nephews. He has two sons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And the boy says something. But he's also a person who can't see that. Right. Did, uh, did you guys go to Thanksgiving out there then? Mm -hmm. We had Thanksgiving. We had Thanksgiving. We drank. You drank? Yeah. So you didn't even see the boys on Thanksgiving? What did your brother say to you when he told you about the kids saying something? He said that he just told my kids that we're going down to stay up and having things to be. And my dad says something to me about it. And I said, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Thanksgiving, and you talked to Matt after about that. Did he, did he say anything? To, did, I mean, did, he, I mean, did he need to, did he want to help at all or anything? Matt just said, when you open me, he said, he took to him and said, he talked to him. It wasn't me, he said, let me know if you need help. I probably was going to see my mom, so. Yeah, yeah. And he used to do what needs to be done, right? So let's go, let's do the, let's move this forward, let's go back to what, what, when the, when did the kids go to South Dakota again? The 20th. Okay. And did it, were you, what was, what was going on there? It was just break. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I mean, they didn't want to stay home or you didn't want to stay home or what? They always, the thing was, they always would go with grandma. Um, they always go with grandma and hang out with grandma and then they go to Dickinson hang out there and then come back and then we have Christmas here. And it's kind of like... Okay, so it's a loop. Yeah. So, okay, so this is something normal that they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, we had all the shitty stuff. Right, so it's <laughs> goes up with yeah, the other on the travel. Yeah. Did they ever make it to Dickinson? Mm -hmm. This is last... This, this past time? Yeah, <laughs> that was like, cause it was. In, in November? Or for Thanksgiving? Or did they, they make it over Christmas break? They didn't end up going for Christmas. Um, my brother got sick. 
and then the boys were sick, and then we had all the storms, right. and then they went up there with them. Um, they went up Friday, Thursday, they were up there Thursday. This past Thursday? They were up there, not just this last weekend, but... Weekend before? Mm -hmm. They went up to Dickinson? Okay. All right. Yeah, because it had his birthday. Okay. And then that's when they were just going to right. do everything. Because of all the storms, they just oh, yeah. couldn't get up there. So, or just this past week. Hadley's birthday was the first. So, whatever this. Hadley's birthday was the first? Yeah. So, they were going to do it that this following weekend? This, yeah. Okay. Is that just. Okay. No, it's all right. The days have been, you know, especially with these breaks in the middle yeah. of the week. So, that was the first time that they were up there and they were going to just do it and then. Um, come over and do it again. It's just this. Mm -hmm. And then go to school. Okay. Um, how have the kids been taking it? Do they know? I she was taking it really hard. They sounded like they were close to me. So. I'm sorry, Nick. It's hard. Um. So well, let's well, let's 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 go towards that, and then um. So how how did this all? How did this all take place when you left? So, obviously the kids are gone, so you don't have to worry about that. The kids are gone. Right? Monday we had, we got into job Monday. Well, the first not working because we didn't know who to get for Christmas. Okay. And I said, I'm, I'm, I'm done, I'm tired of the I said, there's no heat. I said, I can't, I can't keep staying here. Right. There's no heat. I said, I said, it's not, it's not working for me, it, for my MS, for my everything. I said, then, for the boys when they come home, right. it's so cold. I said, maybe, maybe for Christmas, we can go to California or something, and do something, maybe. So, they go anywhere, whatever. I can't stay here because I can get me. I don't have whatever he said, Sway. He's going back up there for bowling. What, this was Monday? Mm -hmm. Well, what time was that? He has to go to bowling by. He went back for bowling. He used to go by like 6 30. He said, Is it? Was that working? He would let you know what's going on. I came home when I knew he would have been gone at bowling. So you, you guys had the argument earlier. before bowling. Was it, like, it was earlier in the morning. So it was in the morning? It was early, yeah. And did you, I mean, did you guys, did they, anything become physical at that point? No. Yeah. Was it a long fight? I mean, or did you just. No. I, I told him, I said, done. I just, it was in out. I wasn't going to give the opportunity. And I, I, I left. So I, I can't do the no heat. Right. Is this before work? Or is yeah, this before work. I said, I can't do the no heat. I, I can't. Yeah. I said, maybe after Christmas. Maybe. Go someplace. Do something. Okay. Oh. He was mad. I just said, look up. So then I came home and I knew he would be home. Where did, I'm sorry, where did you go? This road. Um, go around. Oh, so you didn't, you weren't, you didn't have to be at work that day? Monday. Well, I was at work Monday. I was at work all day Monday. Oh, okay. I thought you said this was Monday that you guys got in the argument before work. It was before, yeah, because then I left and went to work. Oh, okay. And then I came home and I knew he wouldn't. He wouldn't be home. And he got some stuff and left. And then he messaged. Later I told him there was 
paper on the paper on the counter when you were signing that paper. Yeah. And yeah, I was just over there bullied. Maybe I was bad at not bullying. That's what it is. I don't know if you're not there. with you and stuff like that? Yeah, I always gave them to my parents. Okay. So. My new movie, I got an argument. One of the things I think is. That would be like a bully. Because he just said it's 700 series or 760 series, whatever. It's, I don't know. I don't know. It's so. Okay. Something. He goes, that would have a good name. He goes, We're, you're calling in for us both. We're playing drinking games. When did he say that? Monday morning. Monday morning. I didn't know. That's why I agree with that. But what, Tuesday. What did he mean by drinking games? Who drinks it? So. I spent a little time with my heart. or anything. And uh, when we were talking yesterday, you said um, you had a friend come over. Right, come with me. We had to grab stuff real fast. We were in and out. It didn't take very long. I just grabbed some pants and like two laundry baskets of whatever I could throw over the laundry baskets and half of it was dirty. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not really thinking of a situation like that to grow. Well, I mean, I wouldn't even know where to start if I was going to hurry. I mean, how long? I mean, yeah. I didn't think we were there for maybe 30 minutes, maybe. maybe okay. Like, so it was quick. Like, yeah, because I never know if he's been a bowl, but it's called like a empty camera. I don't know what they call it like, when you don't, when there's so many bowl against, so then it can go real fast. Yeah. And so it just wasn't going to Yeah. Tuesday when you met up and... Who, who, is, who is your friend? Okay, Earl. Earl? Never Earl. For a while, for a while, and see, uh, who's I mean, see a neighbor or something or what? No, who just met to the area. I just ordered, ordered food like anybody else, and instead of being a repeat customer and okay. hanging out and being friends with us and yeah, everything else and oh, so Ch so Chad knew him too. Yeah, okay. just became friends and what did he think kids know this stuff? He was always coming with me. You better than that. He said, but he goes, they can't tell you how to run your life. He goes, I, I wish, wish you, you know, wish you always the best. You know, he goes, you don't want to see nobody get hurt, though. So. Yeah. And then, Tuesday, I was at work, but I had just got done with a meeting with a client. Okay. <gasps> I can't. I heard. Oh, yeah, this. I'm sorry. I can't. 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 And I was busy with playing. I looked at the clock. It was close to 8 o'clock. It was close to what? 8 o'clock. Close to 8 o'clock? Okay. And I said, oh, I'm 
ever call and make me call me, I'm make your mind just show up that memory. Because that had happened before? Do you remember when that was? When I were I met Dixon. Okay. He showed up. And so he called him and said he would have been calling. And they said, okay. So I hung up and I went about my day. After work, I went back to the hotel. And in which hotel is that? In Seabridge. Where we're at. Where is that at? Over by, I call it the Gateway Mall parking lot. Oh, okay, okay. That's what I call it. Yeah. So, we did that and didn't really do much of anything. I think I'm working with all my medical stuff. I'm just kind of. You don't have to know. I just decided I was going to just give him some space. Give him some time and then Wednesday. I was supposed to get up and go get the boys. And we had that awesome ice storm. Yeah. And so I was on and off the phone with mom all day. And I said, well, I said, my happy body doesn't go nowhere. I said, there's clouds in the roads and everything else. So yeah. I said, stay here and do nothing. And then so you didn't do anything for New Year's at all or anything? I didn't. Uh, yeah, I, I just didn't know. Yeah, so. no. And um, then Thursday I got up and went to work, just like any other day. And it was a packed day. Thursday was nuts. Yeah. And it was like running from like the minute I entered in the door. Yeah. And then a phone number came across my phone. I didn't know who mm. it was, and, and then I, I got a kind of sorry answer, and it was, it was cool from his work, and he said, Chad didn't come to work, and I said, I don't know, I said, I haven't been home for a few days, I said, I can't, I can't get away, mm -hmm. I said, I have a super busy day, I have clients all day, and he says, you know, I can't take people to your home oh, right. yeah, well. and I said I'm sorry I can't get away I said I try to call and text him and he goes well let me know what you find out and I said yes so I tried to call and text I didn't hear anything back and I had to get ready for my ex client and then he sent me a message saying that they had run out there and his truck was there and he didn't answer and I just said you know I would, I would get away as soon as I could, but I just couldn't. And then I had my meeting at work at, it starts at, I think, at 4. Because we have our eight of day meetings. At, oh, okay. You know, any of the meetings. And after that was done, I had to come home at 5 o'clock. And then he said, oh, it's not going to the other car. It's so funny. No. I didn't know because it's the most funny out there. And I walked up the door and I couldn't even get in the, in the door. And I looked in the window and I see a little, a little laugh. So then I called, I called you guys. And then you know, we kind of talked from there. Um, when you got there, I mean, you said you saw the smoke. At the it's door. not smoky. I know I can see the wash machine and dryer were all black. Okay. I can see, see in the, in the glass hmm. right there. It's there all black. And I, I couldn't get in. It smelled a little sm like smoky bird. Yeah. And so I called you guys. Right. And you guys came. But then you guys came out. And I started to go away inside. I wanted to go away. So I could go away. Yeah. And you guys said, you guys were bringing him out. 
was probably the firemen. I think that's how that goes. They, they didn't know what they had. You know, they, if he was alive or what. But. Are you staying with family or anything right now? Are you still at this, the hotel? I'm still at the hotel. Yeah. Are you doing okay there for finances and stuff and everything like that? Yeah. Okay. yeah. But, but why? Well, and that's what that's what I want. That's okay. That's, that's what I want to do. That's my love. Yeah. Hello. I'm talking to the, to the sergeant. I'm talking to the sergeant. Do you want to see if she can grab it again and we can finish up? We okay. A bit no, no. Bye. She's on the road. Okay. Um, and that's, that's, a, that's what I want, you know, that's what I'm trying to, to go through too and figure out why, why, why. Um, so, you're doing okay though as far as finances and stuff for the hotel and stuff? Yeah. Okay. And how long have you been renting that hotel? My sister, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and oh, the insurance is paying now since the third. Oh, the insurance is paying. Did you pay for the room just, before that? Yeah, just okay. a couple of days. So you just put that on the, like your credit card or something or did you? Yeah. 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 Right. Um, do you need anything to drink? No. Okay. Um. And like I said, that's like I said, I, 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 I was gonna I was gonna put as much work into this as I can for you, making you find out. You know what I mean? Um. The. Uh, did you see anything when you went back, you know, to the house, anything weird or anything like that? I'm sorry, I couldn't think when you took me out there very well. I, I pointed out those videos, but... You pointed out those what? This was like this, the few things that didn't belong where they belong. Oh, I, I'm, so, I'm sorry, let me clarify. <laughs> What I meant was the night you went back with your friend to grab stuff. Was there anything that was different or out of place? It is as good as it is. Man, it is. Do me some and we left. Okay. Do you know at that time was the furnace working? I did. I had a cord on, or that sweater. Okay. So, yeah. I just grabbed stuff and we left. And, oh, I keep that furnace. Um. Tell me, okay, we have the video, but who yeah. did you, who all came to try to fix that thing? AJ Thompson, twice. Okay, when was that right when you moved in? What were the, what was the time frame on that? Oh, but we didn't call him. <laughs> you didn't call? I called them. Oh, I thought you said you didn't call them. I'm like, well, did you I show called, up? <laughs> I called them. Okay. So, and then, um, so they'd know. Yeah. And then they'd tell you whatever they fixed, because... Okay. Yeah. So, but I mean, I'm just saying, when did it? When did they come to try to fix this thing? Was it like November, December? What was it? As soon as you moved in, so you had troubles with this furnace right then. Yeah. 
Gerald says, where were you keeping Speedy? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Where were you keeping Speedy? Okay. Um. And it was, it was just past that. It was just repeated then. And I always did that thing I showed you. Yeah, the video. Um, so it did that even after H.A. was there twice? So they came in right away in November, mm -hmm. and then when did they come again? November, we had to call them. Okay. I mean, do you remember what kind of time? Was it, was it a long time after you moved no. in? Not long after you moved in? Because that's, no. you know, I want to know more like, about that purpose, too. It was like, well, that was a week. It was maybe a week and a half. On a day, it was two weeks. It was always going out. Yeah. Don't get no memory. Didn't matter. He won't mess with it a couple times. He won't mess with it. I don't know what he did. He died going. Did they ever say anything was wrong? Did they replace parts? What was your? How much was your bill? I don't remember. I don't have to go. A hundred bucks, but it's a lot of Thanksgiving we didn't get. I didn't get yet, so that one was expensive. Right, because the service call was a holiday after that. But like, and I don't really remember to the day he came out. He. He said he was talking to somebody and they were telling him what to do, so... Oh, okay. I don't... Did it... He had it all taken apart and... I don't know, he's not a... Mechanical guy? Well, he's not a furnace person, I... Yeah. I don't... So the landlord was out there once or twice working on that furnace? Once. Once? Mm -hmm. Okay. And when was that? It says on my phone. Okay. I'll have to look into that. This is on my phone. Was it, do you remember, was it like before or after Christmas? Before. Before Christmas. Okay, so it's been a little bit. Okay. But not that long. No. We haven't been that long. Right. No, I'm just trying to figure out how this furnace seems this to be an issue. An issue. It would never stay going in. He always, the leather always told me to see. I'm just going to flip switch. And I said, who was going to flip a switch? Yeah, like a switch on a furnace? Okay. And then, I go to the same thing they're going to do. Yeah. Why is it that message? It was like one in the morning. Yeah, I remember that. That was the video. I I told him, I said, to that bear, I have little kids. Yeah. How much were you guys paying for rent? Twelve fifty. Twelve fifty. You had food. We paid everything else. You know, like, like that was just that. Like, just for the rent. Yeah. So you paid your own utilities. Mm -hmm. You paid your own electric. You paid your own water. All mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So you paid twelve fifty for a house with no heat. Did um. <sighs> So you guys went on those cold nights with the kids, you would sleep in the car? Okay. Um, I was always scared because I had a car right here. Yeah. I think, okay, I think I'm, uh, I think I understand the furnace, or at least I have enough to look at there. Um, so, we had talked just briefly on the phone one time about Chad, if he was right or left-handed. And I remember you said he was, how, was it? how did he put it? I don't try to remember it was the... He used to say he could shoot wrong-handed and he could shoot right-handed. He, he could shoot right handed wrong-handed? Yeah. Dr. Davis said it was hard to teach 2D. And this 2D shoots, 2D is right-handed and he shoots. He's just actually right handed. Okay. And he said, he was, he was, yes, that sometimes he can't show me how to shoot because sometimes it's easier for him to hold wrong handed. And Chad even goes, sometimes I hold, he goes, sometimes I hold wrong handed. That's what I always called it, was wrong handed. Yeah. And he goes, sometimes I shoot right handed. And so so when, when you're saying shooting, is it basketball or is it like shooting a gun? No, when they would go out and shoot. Pelican, or like, he would always let Tootie, him and Tootie would always go like after Christmas, and they'd fill up the gingerbread house with Tannerite, <laughs> and then, but, 
blow it up or what go shoot pellet, like pellet gun. Yeah. And he said sometimes it was hard because he said sometimes it felt com- more comfortable to shoot wrong-handed and sometimes it felt more comfortable to shoot right-handed. And I said, I don't, I don't, yeah. I, I don't, I don't do anything with it. So I said, I, I don't know. Yeah. But I know she goes, well, sometimes yeah, it's, it's mad because it's hard for him to show me how to shoot or hold the gun because he says he holds, holds this gun different. And I said, no, it's a very similar. It's just, it would just be okay. Yeah. So, so it's on, it's to, okay. to, would, was Chad someone who got frustrated easily? Okay. So yeah, he was. He, he was a person who would be. Okay. And I said, I was with this gun. It's just, it's be okay. Um, what was, what was his normal habit when he put to bed? I mean, did he, uh, he was drinking in bed. He would drink in bed? He always had beers by the night stand and whiskey, whiskey bottles in the, in the night stand and glass with whiskey on the, on his night stand and Beer cans sometimes. He would grab the night and say, Friend, sometimes. Yeah. We had always a drink. We had always a drink. There was a drink. Here, just, uh, let me just draw it on the back of this. Right here. Here's the wall. Here's the bed. In the bathroom. Okay. Here's the night stand. This here's on the wall. You put it. Beer cans here and they stand and bottles with insects and they stand in the cans lined against here and then he always had glass up here and sometimes he put the cans here but sometimes he just let them True. and sometimes they'd be in the bed but usually it always dropped on the floor. Okay. Which side of the bed was this child's? This side, but sometimes if I used to I wanted to sleep in the middle. Yeah. He's so hard. Either side. Either side. Okay. Because I sleep in the middle and he goes, well, he sleep on either side then. Okay. So sometimes mm-hmm. he goes, he can get up and go pee and then he wouldn't have to stub his fucking toe. Did he, uh, did he shower before bed or anything like that? Or was mm-hmm. it his normal thing? Yeah, he always showered before bed. Okay. Um, did he... Did you sleep with pajamas or anything? Nope. Naked. Okay. Once in a great while, if, like, well, not, when we first were together, he'd sleep with boxers on, not knowing if the boys were coming around. Right. But, and he'd probably sleep naked because he'd probably sleep in naked pants, not me. So, uh, actually, you know what? I don't want to know. <laughs> and then, mm-hmm. so, unless it was a, something. I'm gonna let you tell me if that. If you want to show him, Chance behind his back and stand there. Did you see the friend? Okay. Um, so he, he normally he, he slept naked then? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because um, sometimes he slept on his side and sometimes he slept on his side, just depending. Depending on if the pillow felt right and if I was hugging too much of one side of the bed. Okay. Um, did, he, did, you, did you sleep with the door open or closed? When the boys were gone, we always slept with the door open. Okay. And then, but there's some two when we slept with the door closed. I guess it. It wasn't a big habit. It was. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. The boys didn't come down to her. I mean, they didn't come down because they 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 were always hollered for me before okay. anything else. Did did who where did the boys sleep? So here's the hallway. Yeah. Right, coming out. And here's my changing room. Okay. Here's here's bathroom. Here's the other bathroom. Here's my changing room. Here's the, here's this is Tootie's room. Okay. 
emergency room service. Okay, all right, so that makes sense then. Um, okay, and then were there, I know, you know you said you weren't a gun person, but um, were there any guns in the house? I know you said yeah. there was. I don't know, I'm sure, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. Like I said, whatever you can remember or whatever you know is, is I good. Don't know for sure. Okay, well, where were they kept? In our room. In your room? Mm hmm Okay. Because there's one hour and we have a seat. No. Cool. So, the, the guns were kept in the room? Um, in the closet. Okay. Where was the ammunition kept? It was always supposed to be out by trees. Trees ammunition. It was always supposed to be out in the, in the closet. And the entry was where it was always, always supposed to be, but a lot of times he always would take it to the back of the bedroom. Okay. And I always told him that I don't want it back there. So I don't want to sleep in the corner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like that would be in the hallway. Um, tell you what, I'm gonna, I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab a water. Would you like a water? What do you think happened here? I don't know. 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 something like this, you know, I mean, I don't know if you watch TV much or anything, but, I don't watch TV. um, we're able to do a lot 
with digital information. Mm -hmm. You know, we're able to um, get information off of cell phones. Mm -hmm. We're able to, to track the location of those cell phones. Mm -hmm. We're able to go back and, and pull surveillance video. Um, even sometimes if someone has turned it off or if it doesn't work, we can still recover that. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, we're able to basically go through that scene and, and find tiny little things mm -hmm. that the naked eye don't, doesn't see. Right. Um, you know, we have a lot of new technology that we can do a lot of stuff with, and, and I, I pulled no stops on this one because right. you asked me why, right. and I wanted to find out for you. So we can we can do all that, and. Uh, you know, like I said, we can track all those cell phones. So, do you know we, we can we can go back? We can look at camera footage from the area of vehicles coming and going. Um, I'm going to say that Chad's death was not an accident. What? Mm -hmm. Based off of all of the information that I've gathered, Chan's death was not an accident. Well, and that's why I, I wanted to talk to you about it. I wanted you to hear it from me, you know, um, going into this. Um, like I said, we, we have pulled so many resources in on this, and we have used so much technology on this. We know how this happened. And Nikki, I think you know how too. I don't. That's why I asked you to know what happened. Chad um, did not die in the fire. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chad was killed by a gunshot. What? Yep, he was killed by a, a firearm. What? Yeah. We did an autopsy on Chad, and there was no soot in his lungs or in his throat. And that tells us that Chad was dead before the fire started. Okay. There was also a gunshot wound to Chad. Or there was a gunshot wound to Chad. And that happened before the fire. Yeah. So, is there is there anybody you can think of that's involved with this? Do you know who's involved with this? No. I don't know. Do you know anything about <clears throat> Do you know anything about Chad's death? No, I don't. Okay. Um. Like I said, we did find. The gun on scene. Okay, it's, not it's, not it's, not it's, it's okay. I think we need to finish with this anyway. So, is there anybody else who's been in that house? I don't know who would come, you know, in and out of the house. I mean, say, I don't know. Would be in and out. That one would come from over here from the other house. Yeah. Was there anybody else besides, um, was it Earl mm -hmm. with you when you came back? No. Did you ever see anybody in the house when you were there? When you came back? I didn't see anybody. I said, we ran in, 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 we ran in,
Mm -hmm. see, how long were you guys in the house? At max, maybe 30 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. Maybe. I know it was 8 30 something. Yeah. 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 Nothing happened when you guys were there? When you guys uh, came uh, at 8 30? Mm -hmm. When you was Chad rolling then? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was his house. Okay. So you didn't see anybody there? Nothing seemed out of place? I didn't I didn't pay attention. I just went in and okay. went in and out and, and that was it. I, I just grabbed my stuff and left. Okay. Who who is real to you? I've known him, I said he bought stuff, we became good friends, hangs hang out. You know, we all know him. We you know, joke back and forth, we you know Thank you. We all back met yeah. back and forth. It's okay. You can tell me if or, were you guys romantically involved or anything? No. no? Okay, no. so you weren't boyfriend or girlfriend no. or anything? No. Okay. I'm I'm married. I know, but, you know, I was just, with all that going on. No. I'm married. He's married. Oh, he's married. He's married. Okay. He's okay. married. He's married. All right. Mm -hmm. So, did you, did you tell Earl about the abuse or anything like that? He saw the bruise marks, you know, a couple of times, but did he just said, you know, I wish, I wish, you know, wish you guys fast. I wish, you know. Did he ever seem angry by it? No. He just, he goes, I'm not in, I'm not in a walk in it. So then, you guys, you know, do your own thing and, you know, you know figure it out. And, you know, I, I told my brother, my brother knows yeah. about the abuse, and he says, if there's anything you can do to help me, he would. Nikki, Chad was killed. Hmm. Chad was murdered. It's not a suicide. There were multiple gunshots. No. Yes. So like I said, I know how. I just need to know why. No. No, I... Is there... Why would anybody... I don't know, Nikki, but that's what I want to find out. So why, why was, why would that happen to Chad? I don't know. Nikki, where did you go after, after you guys came back from bowling, or after you came there when Chad was at bowling? I'm gonna make you go now. Who's we? Well, he kept me carrying his stuff in. Huh? He helped me carry his stuff in. Who did? Earl. Oh, okay. Um, so you came back to the hotel? Mm hmm Okay. What happened then? You said it's hotel. Just, just you and Earl? Mm hmm For, for yeah. help? We were for a minute long. I stayed in the room and he went and In his room, his room. Okay, so you guys had separate rooms? Okay. I, I went to sleep, I don't know. So, okay. after I'm done with work, I'm pretty much in good trouble. I had my stuff thrown everywhere and baskets stolen. That was it. Okay. So, Earl spent the night in his room? But, but you didn't know where he was? Or you didn't know if he left after that or anything like that? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, we also have the ability, we have the video from the hotel. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I know you came back to, with Earl. Right. And like I said, I need you to be, you know, honest with me on, on what, what all goes down because I'm trying to figure out, I know how, I need to know why that Chad I just want him back. I just want him back. I know. Nikki, I, I can't change what happened, but I can 
explain how or why. I know. What? So, Nikki, you need to be honest with me. Did you and Earl stay in the same room? Well, in his room, you know, ever since his bedroom, he was out in the the we even got the other, the other room. The other room, I don't know what you mean. Like that. The main room. The living room? Mm -hmm. So you, you guys have one room? Well, but it's like, um, like you come in and it's a room. Like it's a living room and then it's a bedroom. Okay. And that's a pull out. So we know that, Nikki. We know when you guys came, when you guys went. So I'm asking because I know you're, you're, you're a good person. I, I mean, I'm just talking with you. You've been through so much. Um, I, I, you know, I just need to to find out why. I know how. I know what, when. I know where. Do that. Did you have anything to do with Chad's death? No! That's a terrible thing to do! Okay. okay. Do you do you do you know if Earl would have anything to do no, he wouldn't. with Chad's death? No. Okay. Is there anyone else you could think of? I can't think of anybody. I don't I don't think you know what people need to go with. in Canada. Mm -hmm. He's a project manager so he travels around. When did when did you when did you guys or when did you guys rent the room? And then Sunday. Sunday he would rent it in. Sunday he would rent it in. Thank you. You said you didn't get into a fight till Monday. Mm -hmm. Why did you rent a hotel room Sunday? Well he was in his town. Okay. So who rented the hotel room? Earl did. Okay. And so had you talked to Earl before you rented the hotel room? Well, I knew he was coming to town. Okay. Yeah, I knew he was already coming to town. Okay. So had, when did you talk to him and discuss? Monday, and I told oh. him we got into a fight, and he said I could, he came over and talked to him. I could come there, crash for for a few days. Just so, so thank you. Okay. So Monday night. That's the that's the night you got or that's the day you got in the fight. Mm -hmm. It's the day you went back um, from when he was at bowling. Mm -hmm. You said you were at the house for about thirty minutes, right? I think that's what it was thirty thirty minutes, maybe forty minutes. I just I know we carried out and took him running baskets. Um, okay, so after you left the house with the laundry baskets, mm -hmm. tell me everything that happened. We went back to the hotel, we carried in the stuff, we stayed in, and then he asked, I was really thirsty, he asked, he was doing well, and I said, I didn't sleep, because I was really upset. I said, so we walked around, we just talked for a while. In the hotel or what? Mm -hmm. In the hotel room? Okay. Mm -hmm. Then what? His phone was in. I'm just, I'm lost. I don't understand. I just want to understand. What don't you understand, Nikki? I don't understand why. Why a lot of things, why? Why you just want to go counseling with me? You know that? 
Did you guys ever leave the room that night? So I missed a lot of apparently what you were. You've been talking to him for a while now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, I guess at this point, you know, I've reviewed everything. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing you need to be doing right now is you got to be honest about everything. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of information. Um, I was at the crime scene. Um, I helped process the crime scene. That's kind of what my thing is on a lot of this is the processing and analyzing of things and all I do is criminal investigation. Right. So um, I know you've been talking to him and told him some things. Some of that I can tell you right now is not true. Um, I know we, you know, we have video like he said. Um, we have when you're coming and going from that room. But I think that some of it you just need to explain a little bit better maybe. Um, like, for, for me, I missed out on some. What's your relationship with Earl? We've known each other, like I said, he first bought cookies, and from there, we, you know, when he came into the area, we, I went and catered, or cooked for him before, and we've more so developed a joking relationship. He's hung out with my kids. I've, you know, I've met his daughter. I've, mm -hmm. you know. Have you met his wife? You said he was married, yep. right? Okay. No, I've not met his wife. No. Nope. Okay. No. Nope. So what was Earl doing in North Dakota? He's coming here to he's got a couple of project manager jobs that he's coming to scout and all that. So Okay. All right. And Chad knows Earl? Mm hmm Okay. Yep. Are they friends? They've met, they've hung out, they've you know, said so he's mm -hmm. came over and you know, 
it, okay. I guess it's been in the, I mean, pretty much anybody that comes over, my thing is, is you know, if you come over, you, you order from me, you pretty much already have free range to come to the house and have a bite to eat and... Order from you, what do you mean order from you? I have a, cater, I have a catering business. Oh, okay. So. All right. All right. Um, so Chad knows Earl. Mm -hmm. They get along? Yeah. Okay. And so then I understand you were staying at the Stay Bridge. Mm -hmm. Okay. So who, you were staying with Earl? He was already, had already had a room there, and I told him, I, I was upset Monday, and I uh -huh. said, you know, I just need some time. The furnace isn't working. It's a forever ending thing. I said, I, and I told you, I said, I can't keep doing, you know, furnace working. I, just, mm -hmm. I don't want to be here. I said, it's been out pretty much since we've been living here. And I said, you know, I don't want to be here. I said, you know, we hadn't, we hadn't turned around what I was drinking, you know, and at that point I said, I just left. I, you know, I did to work. I worked Monday, you know, obviously, and then opened okay, up to the house with me, we grabbed some stuff, and we left. Mm -hmm. So, okay. so what did Chad think of you going and staying in a hotel room with a girl? I mean, he said nothing different than, he said, we went, to, we went to Texas, you know, I went who's to... Who's we? When you say we, you said we went to Texas, so who's we? You and Chad or you and Earl? Me and Chad went to Texas, you know, okay. and then them, but I mean, I went over to the cities and shopped, I met his, I met, you know, um, Earl and his daughter over there and mm -hmm. uh, for a weekend and okay, talked so, to Chad, you know, right, I talked to so Chad every what, night. What did Chad think of you going and staying in a hotel room with Earl? Didn't think of it. Chad didn't think anything of that? Really? No. I, I'm a married man myself. He's married. That would not fly with. I don't know any guy that that would fly with. That. I guess would I know. go stay. What would you have thought if Chad had went and stayed with Earl's wife in a hotel room while you stayed home? I Come on, let's be realistic good. here. My, they said we went to the cities and we hung out. You know, it was me and Earl, and I talked to Chad every night. Yeah. You know, and, uh -huh. you know, FaceTime did. I mean, we said, have fun, you know, we hung out. I got stuff from him when we were there. We, mm -hmm. you know, I talked to the boys. We did different things. I mean, it. So, do you and Earl, it's more than just a friendship. I mean, there's definitely a romantic relationship there, right? Okay. So. If I told you that we had some some information from some of the apps on your phone that says differently, what would you say to that? And we can say anything. Huh? You know, we can talk back and forth. I mean, we have to talk back and forth and say, you know, yeah, I think he's, you know, a super nice person. He thinks uh -huh. that, you know, I'm super beautiful and, you know, it's, I do, I, you know, I like hanging out with him, but, you know, mm -hmm. I miss him when he's not around. And, I don't have a whole lot of friends to hang out with. I don't, you know, I don't go out. I don't, you know, I don't hang out. Um, I'm not big into the drinking scene. I'm not big into all that, you know. So when we get together, we, you know, we hang out. We, you know, we sit and talk. You know, we do this. And that. I do. I, you know, as somebody, as somebody, you know, I like it. I can tell. Them I love him. I mean, I love when he gets together. I love when he comes to town. We, we hang out. We, you know, we do this. We do that. And you know, we go hang out. We spend time together. You do whatever and. You know, it's different things, you know, things that, you know, Chad won't do with me, you know. All right. So, yeah, so, I mean. So, is it a romantic relationship? I guess that's what I'm asking. No. Okay. No. I, Not at said, all. I, I do. I, I love Chad. Well, I, 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 I don't doubt that at all. And part of the reason I'm in here is, like I had said, I, I saw the crime scene we have all the evidence to kind of know what happened here. And a crime scene like that and what happened to Chad can, could have been done by someone that could be construed as a monster or it could be someone that, if, if they had a reason for that, but it would need to be explained. Otherwise, it's going to look like it was done by someone who was a monster. And that's... That... It, it, it was a fairly brutal scene. I mean, Chad, like he explained, had been shot. 
and then the house was on fire. And I can't. Under, I'm sorry. I can't understand. Okay, what don't you understand? I knew someone was coming. I believe that. I have no doubts about that. But I'm going to be straight up with you. I believe that you know what happened, and I think it's in your best interest to just be honest with us about what you know. All right, so um, we can tell, tell me about then what you did when you showed up around 10 after 1 in the morning, you and Earl. Where? At your house. Did I forget to tell you that when you tried logging off of the camera system, it didn't actually log you off and put you in that privacy mode and kept recording? Yeah, it did. No. So, yeah. So help me explain this. That's what I'm here to do, explain. I went out. You went out where? My other house, I wanted to get my meds. Mm -hmm. But you said that you keep your meds in your purse. I know, but I wanted my meds. Okay. And I had a patch. Uh -huh. Okay, so tell me what happened when you guys were out there. Because it was you and Earl. It's on video. Mm -hmm. I couldn't find it. I had my extra patches in it. Patches? Just med medication yeah. patches? Yeah. Okay. I couldn't find my patches, so then it's called, it's called Matt. I'm not going to go in the house and think around. I usually yeah. have them out, so. Mm -hmm. So you couldn't find them? So you left? Okay. Because I have them, I always set them on the on a stand, mm -hmm. that stand when you first come in where there's your cock pot. Mm -hmm. And so I left, I said, I can't find that mine. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm not going to think mm -hmm. around. Or... So what happened when you guys were in the house? Because Chad was there at that point. Chad was up to me. Mm-hmm. I couldn't find him and couldn't hide and that much of anything. She was drinking and she would have to stop and left. Mm -hmm. Well, here's the, here's the only problem with that, Nikki, is you guys were there for an hour and 40 minutes. I know, I couldn't find my patches. You didn't look for your patches for an hour and 40 minutes while Chad sat there drinking. Look at me, Nikki. You did not look for your patches or your medicine for an hour and 40 minutes while Chad sat there drinking. Did you? I couldn't find my patches. I, I, I understand that. I yeah, believe I that. He kind in the kitchen and... Doing what? I put a little dishes in the dishwasher. Okay. And I hit go. Mm-hmm. And what was Earl doing during that time? Talking to Chad and he asked if you're ready and I said, mm -hmm. I'm ready. And where was Chad at? In the living room. Okay. And Chad just sat there drinking and him and Earl just sat there and talked while you looked for your meds? Mm -hmm. Not right. much of anything. Okay. And what did you guys do for an hour and 40 minutes? Because you didn't look for your meds and it didn't take you an hour and 40 minutes to empty your dishwasher, load your dishwasher, when and I push go. I was in the garage. I looked for my meds, couldn't find them. I dinked around with some stuff in the garage, went in the house, and he was up drinking mm -hmm. whatever, small pack. Did what? No. Oh, okay. And I put the little ice tape stuff into the, well, from the crack pot into the trash can. Yeah. And go to the dishwasher. I went to the pantry. 
been known for some stuff in the pantry. There's been the quarters from my mermaids, and I said, I'm, I'm leaving, and I'm out. And we left. I can't find my bed. Was Chad mad when you left? Yeah. Why was Chad mad? Because I didn't want to stay home. Mm-hmm. And you were going to stay in a hotel with Earl, right? Because I wasn't mad. Well, no, I'm not, I'm not saying that anything like that, but I can about imagine if Chad was sitting there drinking, you show up at home with Earl, and then you're going to hang out there for an hour and 40 minutes and then go and leave and go back to a hotel room with Earl, that Chad's probably quite pissed, right? So what happened when, we were, when you guys were there? Something yes, happened. Yeah. Yes. Because I said I didn't want to stay because the furnace didn't work, mm -hmm. and so we had to leave. Mm -hmm. And then we left. Did some? What else happened there? That was it. I went up to the car and we got right. in. The ding with the garage door opener, because the garage door opener is not uh -huh. open, and then we mm -hmm. left. Did you maybe go out to the vehicle and Earl stayed inside for a little while? I went to the vehicle to start ding with the garage door opener, and then he put his boots on and we came out and we left. Mm -hmm. And then what happened? I went to the hotel. And then what? Then I got up and I went to work. Mm -hmm. And then went from there. What time did you go to work? I have to be there by... I have to be there by 7.30, 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So and we got up in the morning and ran and um what happened to oh I'd run and get um I ran and got something. I don't remember what I ran and got. Where did you run and get something at? I ran and got I was there and got coffee. So what do you okay. Alright. So I'm sorry. Okay, that's fine. So that's then explain to me why at 6.32 there was someone back out there. You guys were back out there. And don't claim you don't know. Okay. We, here, here's the thing. Are we about done lying? I need my patches. I, I, that's fine. And I understand that. But... I need my patches. So I uh -huh. snuck into the house. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to run in and grab my patches. Mm-hmm. And run right back out. Mm-hmm. And left. So you ran in and grabbed your patches. And so now you can run back out there at 632 and be back out of the house in about five minutes. And you knew where your patches were, but that hour and 40 minutes that you guys were out there they earlier... Were, they were in the bathroom. I ran to the bathroom. I didn't have... I can't find them. I finally got some from Dr. Glasson's office. Okay, but that has nothing to do with that. You're telling me that you spent an hour and 40 minutes out at the house or a couple hours earlier looking for your patches and couldn't find them, and then at 6.32 you go out there and just Please run in and grab them and you know where they're at. Maybe I have them in the bathroom. I will check the bathroom. So for an hour and 40 minutes, you didn't check the bathroom? No, because we are in there. Mm-hmm. Once you sex me, that would be in my head. Yeah. You know, I, I think that you feel bad about what happened. Here, look at me, though. You feel bad about what happened, don't you? About what? What, what's happened to Chad at this point? I have nothing to do with what happened I, to Chad. Right. Here, here's the deal on this. The longer time goes on, what you do know, it's not going to get any easier. It's going to keep building up and building up on you. You're not going to later on feel better about this. The only way you're going to have any closure to this at all is for you to be honest with us. And since I've been in here, you haven't been honest to me at all. I don't know what's happening to 
I don't. That's why I asked you guys. I don't know. But then why do you keep lying to me? All I wanted to do was run out and grab my taxes. I was like, mm. Sorry, I have to go. Yes. Okay, bye. All right. Bye. Because when I go in there, I get sucked into arguing with them. Mm -hmm. I don't want to argue with them. I just want to get in and out. But that's not what happened. That's not at all what happened. I don't know what happened to him. I don't. No, well, here, what I'm saying is that's not what happened in... I'm not saying I need to send my mom the address. Okay, let's send your mom the address so that that can get taken care of. Where's the address for some of those people? Not off the top of my head, but we can look it up for you. He's going to pull it up on his phone. I don't know what happened. To him, I don't. Mm -hmm. I. And, and you may not have seen exactly what happened to him. I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. But I think you have a really good idea of what happened. I don't know what happened. But you have a really good idea what happened. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Because I don't there's no reason at this point that you would be lying to me about all this other stuff. I mean. The only time you're even telling us you're out of that house is when I call bullshit on your story. Right? Your Honor, I stopped it now because it's... My brain is full of everything. I believe it. Uh -huh. I believe it. You have went through some things and it sounds like... I'm sorry. Yeah, no, let's get that taken care of. It's one, two, Hold one. Hold on, I'm sorry. Yeah. One two, one five, North Nineteenth Street. I don't know what happened. You guys, I don't. Well, I want to hear, hear step what by step happened. what happened when you and Earl were out there for an hour and 40 we minutes. We went to the house. We got there. He was drinking. Him and Earl talked. You know, and where were that when they were talking? Chad was sitting in his couch. Okay. Whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. His couch area. And he was drinking. Earl said hi. You know, they talked about whatever. And I was busy looking for my meds. I put the dishes in. So I did the dishes. Mm -hmm. We had to start in me and Chester arguing about the furnace. About what? The furnace. Okay. The furnace is a non contention battle with us. It's been a problem for a while? Since we moved in. Okay. And I told him, I said, I'm, I'm not staying here if the furnace doesn't work. It's, mm -hmm. it's not happening. It's, I can't do it. The kids can't do it. It's not fair to us. Mm -hmm. I said, I want. I want nothing more than to be someplace that has heat. It's freezing outside, everything else. 
Me and him were arguing. I finally just said, that's it. Done. I'm, I'm leaving. Good. I left. Mm -hmm. I think you're almost the garage door opener and... Where were you at when you were taking her out of the garage door opener? In damn car. In what? In damn car. In? In the damn car. In whose damn car? My damn car. Okay. The garage door. Right on. Right. Right. Uh -huh. And so... And where was Earl during this? Did boots on to come out? Huh? Did boots on to come out of the house? Okay. Was he actually or was he still in the house while you were out there? I was out there putting boots on. Okay. And where was he putting boots on that? Right in the entryway thing right okay. there. And then the car and left. Mm -hmm. And then when I went back, I said, maybe my meds are in the bed bathroom. I said, I gotta look into these bathroom. I started doing my makeup. Mm -hmm. I said, you please run out with me. I just want to check on my bags. And, and where was Chad when you went out there? I stuck in the house. Okay, but where was Chad? It was the house. The house was dark. He was only still sleeping. Okay. I. Uh, and did Earl come in then too? I don't think Earl came in the house. I think about that for a minute. I'm trying to think through that. I think he came into the. I think he came in the. Uh, I think he came in the entryway. I still stand right here. I think he came in the entryway. But I ran back and got the meds and there was no meds. So I said, we didn't stay. I wanted to look. I opened the doors. And we left. Mm -hmm. Then where'd you go? Back to the hotel. Because I just mentioned my work. I need my patches. I have mm -hmm. high blood pressure. Yeah. And if I don't have my patches on, I'll be even sicker. Mm -hmm. So, I went to work. So, what did you and Chad, or not you and Chad, what did you and Earl do from the time you got back to the hotel room the first time after being out there? at your house, or not the first time, I suppose it would be the second time, when you guys were out there for about an hour and 40 minutes, and then you went back to the hotel, what did you guys do? I went to, we had my dry my meds. My meds are super important to me. Mm -hmm. I need to look for my meds. Right. So, look for my meds. And where were you looking for your meds in the hotel room? In the laundry baskets. Because okay. I carried stuff out in laundry right. baskets. Uh -huh. And I was digging through the baskets, looking through the different stuff, and got to my purse. Mm -hmm. They've got to be in here. i got to find my stuff. Mm -hmm. So then tell me why, before you guys went out there that time to get your meds, why did you feel the need to go and try to tamper with the camera system? Mm. I don't you logged on at 12.43 a.m. and were attempting to put the camera in like a privacy mode, which just didn't work. I don't and then you showed up out there 15 minutes later. Anybody can log into my cameras. I have my stuff. I don't, they don't just have to be whatever. I mean, but it wasn't just anyone. It was you. I've opened, my cameras. I've opened my cameras up before and it's been open and I've not known it's been uh -huh. open before. I, I don't do, here's the other thing, if I go anywhere near, if I go near my home with my uh, watch and all that, my geofence goes off. Right. Okay. So. But so why were you in there trying to switch the camera mode? I was like, I said, if I. It was you, we know it was you. If I was in it. I have my hand on the button and I'm not paying attention. I don't go in and deep around with the system a whole lot. I know I went into it the other day and tried to update my geofence from where we lived to where we're living now. Mm -hmm. And it wouldn't work. It kept defaulting back to other stuff and 
I've tried to go on and change myself before because when I go over to school or pick two days from school, it beeps at me. Mm -hmm. You know, I said, it, I got to change it. We don't even live there. Mm -hmm. You know, so I went in and when I changed geofence stuff, it flashes off the camera mode. When I've changed geofence, camera mode changes. That I do know because I've done it before. Mm -hmm. After that, after we were out there, then I can't do my patches. Mm -hmm. And so we did get more patches. From, I got more patches from my patches. Right. Patches. Okay. It's, you know, and like I said, then. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's just recap a little bit. So you guys went out there about 1, 1 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. Or let's go back. So first, you go on the cameras, you try to put them in privacy mode, but it doesn't work. Then you show up. Update my geofence. Okay. Then you show up at one ten, and you're there for an hour and forty minutes. You leave around three o'clock, uh, two fifty six to be exact. All right. Six thirty two. You show up back out at the house. You and Earl. Six thirty eight. You and Earl leave. Activity throughout the day. Then, at about 10.55 that evening then, you guys are back out at the house again. I don't remember really being back at the house. Or was Earl back out at the house without you? I don't remember really being back at the house. All right, so was Earl at the house without you? Possible? Possible. I don't mm -hmm. remember being at the mm -hmm. house. So Earl went out there by himself. What would Earl have went back out to that house by himself? And why would Earl have went back out to that house by himself without telling you? I don't know. I. So where were you at then? I was. For the most part, I'm not up that late. I've been. Sure, you're up that late because the night before you didn't even go to bed. If I was been working, then my brain's usually pretty much taxed out and... Right, you would have been working that day and then you were up all night. You were running sure. around at, at 2.30 in the morning yet. And then you went back to the hotel for a couple hours and then you were back out again. So... I don't know. I wouldn't have been back out at the house. So Earl was back out at the house. So what was Earl doing? All right, so we'll establish then that you weren't out there. So what was Earl doing back on at the house? I don't know. I would have been back out at the house. So Earl was back out at the house. So why was Earl back out at the house? Come on, he would have told you. I don't know. Earl was not going to leave and go out to your house and not mention it to you. I don't so know what did Earl tell you? I don't know what he would have ran to the house for. What did Earl tell you? He was even out and checking to see if Chad was home. Okay. So he did tell you? Because I wanted to get some more stuff out. Okay, so why didn't you go with him? No, I wanted to go with him and see if he was still home. Okay. And then what happened? Yes, Chad was there. Okay. And he left. You guys left then? So you were with him? No, he left. Because oh. you just said we left. He left. Okay, we which is it? We or he? He. Okay, we got to get our story straight here. He. I want to get more stuff out. Nikki, mm -hmm. I'm not trying to be mean to you. I'm not trying to be disrespectful to you in any way. But people who lie to me, I feel that's being disrespectful to me. If you want me to treat you with that respect, you're going to start treating me with that respect. And your continuous lying isn't working. And I think overall, you are a decent person. I think you're a good person. You've raised two sons. Um, I don't. You I don't. you have you have a you have a good job. Um, I was I, planning on leaving. 
Yes. Yeah. And where were you going? I was planning on moving away. To where? To Texas. Okay. Where at in Texas? I was at Austin. Okay. Did you have a job down there? Potentially, yes. I have. Something I've done in interviews. Works. Yes. Okay. Saying, All right. Go. You have job interviews, or you did? I do. Okay. I do. I've had a couple right. over the phone. Okay. So when was that supposed to happen? The thirteenth. Thirteenth. Mm -hmm. Okay. And just you're moving to Texas. I was. Okay. Nobody else. No. Okay. So Earl wasn't moving to Texas with you. No. Was there any talk of Earl moving to Texas with you? Nothing at all. So there's no text messages to a realtor yeah. or anything like that. That. He's eventually to move home. He's he's right. from there, but uh, that's not what I'm talking about. What Earl's plans are later on in life. So there's no text messages regarding you and Earl looking at houses down there. Well, he's hanging out with Adam with me. Yeah, I mean, I I want someone to help me look at a house. I I don't want to do it alone. I mean, I want someone to help me. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, we've talked about going down and looking at homes with me. I, mm -hmm. I don't want to look alone. I mean, okay. I, well, that clears that up a little bit. I don't want to go down okay. with their homes alone. Did Chad know you were leaving? I don't know if I was going to leave. Yes. Okay. So, let's again go back through some of this again. Because a lot of it's still not making sense to me. And honestly, the reason some of it's not making sense is because you keep lying to me. Almost everything I've asked you about the events, you've lied about. So, um, so we're going to start though, I just want to kind of go back a little bit and so on, it would, this would be the 31st at about 10.54 when you and Earl went back out there, it would have been the last time that we were just talking about. So tell me about that again, why you guys were out there. I want to get my stuff. Okay. And Chad was home. The pickup was there. Pickup was home. Where was Chad? I don't know. The pickup was home. Okay. So you didn't see him when you went inside to get your stuff? I didn't go in the house. Okay. You didn't? Just Earl went in the house? 10.54? Yeah. So Earl was the only one who went in the house that time. I didn't go in the house. Okay, that's not what I asked you. Don't answer questions that I didn't ask you. I asked you if... So Earl went in. Is the only one that went in the house. You didn't go in the house with Earl. Yeah. Okay. So what did Earl do when he was in the house? He was going to grab some of my stuff. He went in and grabbed more of your stuff? What stuff did he grab? I mm -hmm. And you just waited out in the vehicle? Okay. Which is different than what you just told me a minute ago. Because a minute ago when we were talking, you said that you didn't go with. The last time I was, time I was at the house was in the morning. I went to the house in the morning. That was the last time I was Right, I'm talking about at 10.55 the next, that night then. I didn't go out to the house. You just told me you did. No, I did not. I went out in the morning, right. and I wanted to go in and grab my patches. Mm -hmm. But you just told me right now that you and Earl went back out there, and Earl was the only one who went in. I did not go out there. Then, but Earl did. Okay. And what did Earl bring back with him? I wrapping paper. Wrapping paper? So Earl went out there and grabbed wrapping paper? And more what? Christopher's backpack. Christopher's backpack? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm sorry, who's Christopher? Tweety. Okay. All right. I know you referred to him as Zap, but okay. And what did Earl tell you when you got back? Okay. And so what did you guys do before that? Before Earl went out to your house, and got the backpack. What did you? What were you guys doing before that? I don't know. 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 I don't know.
Let's start. Which Walmart? You went to the Walmart that's by Savage. Okay. The North Walmart. Whatever it's called. Yeah. But that's what I refer to it as. The one up on the skyline. Okay. And before that, what did you guys do? Did you stay at work all day? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what about before that? Mm -hmm. Before work, what'd you do? Slap. Got ready. Okay. And we, what time did you get? breakfast. Okay. <laughs> what did you make for breakfast? Probably just potatoes. Pro okay. And so you slept, and how long did you think you slept? Mm-hmm. So you got up around five and ate breakfast and then went to work. Okay. What about the trip out to the house at 6.30? Okay. What did I ask Okay. But that's what I asked you. I asked you what you did, and you just skipped all that. So you guys were out at the house, and and what were you doing out at the house? That time? Okay. And where'd you look for your men patches that time when you were out there? Okay. Which one is that? I'm sorry. Is it okay? The first bathroom. Okay. And where was Chad? And where was Earl? Okay. And you didn't wake Chad up? No. Okay. And then, because where'd you guys, where were you before you went to the hotel, or out to your house that morning? At the hotel. Okay. And you guys ate breakfast burritos and slept? How much? Did you think you slept? Um, okay. And before you went to sleep, where were you? Huh? Out at the house arguing. Out at the house what? Arguing. Arguing? Okay. And where was Earl during all of this? So when we talk to Chad's boss, he's going to say that you called Chad in sick before. I went there because he hasn't been there very long. Okay, where was Chad working before that? Trucks of Bismarck. Trucks of Bismarck? Mm -hmm. And who was his boss there? Joe. Joe who? I don't know what his name okay. is. Joe. Joe. He just asked for Joe. And he'll tell us and that. Parts. Mm -hmm. Joe and parts. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he'll tell us that. I've called Chad before. When, yeah. Did Chad miss a lot of work? He went through periods where he did, because mm -hmm. of his allergies, mm -hmm. and he didn't feel good, so, mm -hmm. yeah. So, you still haven't answered my question that I asked you earlier, though, um, and we kind of just glossed over it, but... So, in your opinion, what, what happened here? I mean, what happened to Chad? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Uh-huh. 
but you sure would like us to figure it out, right? Or you, you didn't seem so sure about that. Okay. So if if you were in our shoes, what would you do? Yeah. Figure it out. How am I supposed to do that? Do you want to help us figure this out? I do. I don't know what happened. Okay. But you have a good idea what happened. No, I don't. And you have, I think, a decent idea who did, who did do it. Who do you think did it to him? And don't tell me I don't know. That's not an acceptable answer. Not, no. If, if, in your best guess, who do you think did it? I don't know who did it. I honestly, I don't know who did this. I don't, I don't know who do this. This is, mm -hmm. I don't, is it, I don't know, I don't know the people he runs with. I don't, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't. Mm -hmm. So what do you think happened to him? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. As I told you, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Have you asked? I asked you. You didn't ask me anything. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So what, as an investigator, should I think when this happens? You and Earl are back and forth from that house, and then when I question you on it, you lie to me. If you were in my shoes, what would you think? If you were sitting here and I was sitting there and you were questioning me about it, and everything I did was perfectly innocent, but I sat there and lied, the whole time. What would you think? I don't remember all the times I've ever That's, Again, you're not answering my questions. What would you think? I'd be upset. But what would you think? I don't know what you would think. I would think that you know more than you're telling us. I don't know what happened. And I'm getting to the point where I'm struggling to not think that maybe you were the one who did it. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. But tell me what you do know about it. Because you know you do know something about it. You do. I don't know what happened. I know you don't know what happened, because I don't believe you were standing there when it did happen. But you do know I some don't know what happened. I, I, I know you keep saying that you don't know what happened. I don't know. I can't answer anything I don't know. I don't know what happened. That's why I asked you guys. I don't honestly know mm -hmm. what happened. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Should I tell you what I think happened? Do you want to know what I think happened? No. Um, I think that you and Earl went out there, that Chad was probably drinking, being an asshole. You've got this history of being abused by Chad. I don't know, did he... Did he assault you that night, or was he threatening to? Was he threatening to assault Earl? No. Because I can about imagine how a drunk guy who likes to fight and hit someone when they're drunk is going to handle his wife walking in with another guy that she's then going to go stay at the hotel with. I can about imagine how that's going to go. And that's about how it went, didn't it? I mean, I'm sure that did not go well at all, did it? We argued about the furnace. Right. I don't know. And I'm sure Chad was just 
ecstatic about the idea of you going and staying in a hotel room with another guy, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. I didn't want to be there. Mm -hmm. And then you're telling me about that one, and that one you were there. Okay. So, what I think happened is that something happened, and I'm not going to get into it. Something happened at that time, and whether you stepped out in the garage, stayed out in the kitchen, something happened in that house that led to Chad dying. Do I think you were probably standing there? No. I don't know. But I think that I think that you were you were there. You were on that property at the time when it happened. I don't know what happened at all. I don't know mm -hmm. at all what happened. What if I told you that the second time when you went out there with Earl in the morning? and you guys were in the house, that we believe that Chad was probably already deceased at that time. And that the third time when you said, well, there's, this is still up for debate because you've changed your story a few times, when you and Earl were out there that next evening, 10.55 or whatever, Chad was also deceased at that time. I don't know what happened. So, I think you have a little explaining to do as to... We believe you were in that house twice after Chad was deceased. No. That's I not true? No. Or I don't know what happened. Okay, that's not what I asked you. So are you telling me that's not true? Not true. So Chad was alive when you were in the house the, set, the last two times? When I went in that morning, you stood there. I stuck in and out. Okay. I didn't. I'm. Okay, here, let me ask you a question. Please. Why would I go back to somebody's room? Or why would I wake somebody that's always in a foul mood that I'm trying to get out and get away from? Why would you go out there at 1 in the morning when he's been drinking and stay there for an hour and 40 minutes? I need those patches. Just like you needed the patches at 6.30. Yes, I believe that. I get so violently sick. Okay. I'm not disputing that with you. I'm, that's that's one part of this whole your whole statement that you made to me that I actually don't think you're lying on. We left. Kind of giggled uh -huh. and left. He was mad. And then you guys go back out there that night then. No, we went out without my stuff. Okay. Went back out. In the morning, mm -hmm. right? We got into mm -hmm. argument. So you got no morning that in your argument that morning then? Well, whatever time that was, 10 a.m. Okay. And that argument. Uh huh. Yep, so you went out there, got some stuff while Chad was born, right? Right. Then you went back out there in the early morning hours, like 10 after 1. And again, we were looking at it, and you had been out, you had been on the camera system, switching it to privacy mode, which just didn't, for some reason, did not work. I, I don't know why it didn't work. It didn't work. And then you guys show up out there. You're there for an hour and 40 minutes. Right? I know. You said that. Then you come back three hours later. I get that. I know that. Run in, I get the patches. We were in and out. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make any sense to me that you were there for an hour and 40 minutes and couldn't figure out where those patches were, but then you can go out at 6.30 in the morning when you have had somebody, no sleep at all. If somebody's arguing with them, if somebody's arguing with them, you just knew where they were. If somebody's I, they weren't there. Okay. They weren't there. I mean, but this house also isn't that big, that in an hour and 40 minutes, if you needed these patches so badly, you would have looked for them in all these rooms. But when you don't... You don't look for them and you stop and you just start arguing with somebody. And so what you're going to do is argue with them. Because that's... Okay, so if I'm married to you and we're in an argument and you're trying to look for something and you're going to start arguing with somebody, are you going to keep looking for something or are you going to stop and focus and argue with them? 
Well, if I need some medication, that's the sole purpose that I'm there, and I'm going to get violently ill if I don't, I'm probably going to put some priority on that medication. If that's the whole purpose of me being and there. Over in the kitchen drawer. How oh, yeah. And uh-huh. I'm arguing at the same time. And ruffling through the stuff. And I'm trying to look for the stuff. And I'm opening the stuff. And I am arguing with them. Mm-hmm. And finally, I'm just, you know, we stop you, actually argue to face. And said, done. Left. Mm-hmm. Left. And done. And my staying here, the furnace doesn't work. I'm done. Mm-hmm. Left. And then I said to myself, well, I can And then you guys went back out there again that night at 11 o'clock. Uh-huh. So what, what did you grab when you were in there then at 11 o'clock at night when you were getting the backpack? Okay, that was it? Okay. And do you notice anything unusual about the house or anything like that? No or yes? Huh? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. And where did you grab the backpack from? It's in the garage. Okay. That's where you just set. Okay, you just set it in the garage? Mm -hmm. Okay. And where was Chad? Um, I just went in the garage and that's it. You just went in the garage? That's it. And where did Earl go? Earl went in the house, though. I don't know what in the house. Yes, he had boots. He got what? He had boots. From where? From a closet right there. Why, why was Earl grabbing boots? And then what did you guys do there? You were there for almost 10 minutes. So to go in there for 10 minutes to grab a backpack and a pair of boots right in the closet right there doesn't take 10 minutes. Okay, so where do you get the boots from? Oh, no, that's fine. I get it. But, okay, and where were they all at? Right in the closet. Which closet? Okay, that doesn't take 10 minutes. You could grab five pairs of boots and a backpack, and it wouldn't have taken ten minutes. Okay. And what else did Earl do in that house then? boots and backpack. Okay. And what else? Because there was more that happened in the house then, because that timeline doesn't match up. Boots and the backpack. That's mm-hmm. all I got. That's all. And then we left. Oh, I got wrapping paper. And where was wrapping paper at? Right on the corner. Okay. Like in the garage or in the house? Actually? In the house. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Well, I said boots were in the house. Uh huh. And who grabbed the wrapping paper? Oh, okay. But you grabbed the backpack? I mean, we were, I thought we, we were honest with me. I, I, I thought that's what we were doing here. I mean, I've, I've trusted you this whole time. I'll be right back. And I don't know what happened. Okay, but Nikki, what, why, why, why were you so dishonest with me about this? I trusted you. 
I know, but I asked you those things. I asked you that. You weren't honest with me. Why? I forgot what the times were going to happen. But that's a big thing, Nikki. That's not, that's, not, that's not forgetting. That's lying to me. You lied to me. I'm sorry. So we went back out there. Nikki, you're not a bad person. I don't believe it. Okay? I, I don't know. You know, obviously, you weren't being honest to me. You weren't. You haven't been, you've been lying, I've been watching you lie to him the whole time. He's disproved everything you've said. You're not a bad person, I get that. But this is, we gotta know the truth. You gotta I don't start know. telling, no, I Nikki, know stop, I stop, stop, Nikki. I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying. Okay. The I don't knows and that, it, you keep, when you, we when keep going, it, we find the truth. The truth is here. We I have the truth. I honestly but don't know what happened. We need to hear it from you. I honestly don't know what happened. But there's got to be more, Nikki, because everything, there's more. You've been lying to me the whole time, Nikki. You have. You admit it. Did you lie to me to this? No, I, we got That's not true, Nikki. Those stories that you told me, that, that's not everything is mashing up. You told me that Earl and you were only at the house that one time. You're not being honest with me on that. And that's what I'm at. I, I'm wanting from you to help. I gotta know what happened. Because like you said, you're, he, you're not a monster, right? Right. And, and, and this whole situation can maybe be explained. But you gotta be honest. You know, and, and like I said, we keep going around this, this and you keep lying about it. That, that doesn't, how does that look how do we? How do you think we look at you at that? When you keep lying about this, and we know that Chad was was killed, can you? You gotta tell us an explanation for it. I don't know what happened. Honestly, I don't. Nikki, I I think you know enough to tell me what happened that night. I don't know what happened. I think you know enough to tell me what happened during that hour and forty minutes. We went out there and I argued with him. But then what? Something more happened that night. And that we got in the vehicle and we Nikki, left. that's not true. We know that off the information that we've gathered. We have all kinds of things. Like I said, you've got to stop telling lies. I don't know what happened. What happened? I don't know. Nikki, you do. I don't. Nikki, something happened that night in an hour and 40 minutes. And it's not just an arguing, you weren't loading the dishwasher, you, you, that might have happened, but something else happened. I don't know. Nikki, something happened. else happened, and I, we know it. I and I want to know from your point of view, well, your explanation, because when we, when we have everything in there and together, that paints its own picture. That's how it's going to come out. And when that happens, I can't change that path. Right? Mm -hmm. Once something is said and once it gets out, that's what everybody's going to think happened. But now is your chance to tell in your words what happened. And I can explain to the world what happened. And it may, like I said, it, the more you lie, the more it makes you look like this monster about what happened that night. But I need to hear from you. Okay. I need to hear from you what, tell me what went down that night. Okay. We went out there. We got into an argument. I told him time. Yeah. I'm not going to get here anymore. There's no heat. I'm done. Fucking understand me. You must get 
really want to fucking hunt you down. And say, like, you're not. He goes, you're not fucking leaving me. He said, like, I am. It's done. It's over. No. No, 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 Chad was, and he came at you. Yeah, and and I said something. Where was Earl? He was in the right position. And what did Earl do? He told him, he said, let's go now. So we got us up, and Chad and I kept arguing. Chad said he was. I'm not fucking in it all. So I'm just fucking dying. So I don't care. I don't care. Okay, this wasn't a suicide. We know that. This was not a suicide. I was telling you. You need to be honest with me because I need to know your side of the story, your, your, what happened that night. Because like I said, once it's out, and how it looks, can't be changed. But if I can hear from you what happened that night, it's more explainable, it's explainable, it's under, it can even be sometimes understandable. What would push someone to that limit? But I know more happened at that point. I know it. I know you. I've gotten to know you. Something else happened. What happened, Nikki? There was somebody else in the house. Somebody what? Somebody else in the house. Who else was in the house? I don't know. Why haven't you told me that? Okay, keep going. Go ahead. Was it a male or a female? A male. Not, not big. I don't know who it is. I don't know. There's somebody I've never. I've never seen it before. 
He stepped in. And what happened? They were arguing in the court. They were in the back bedroom. I told her I was really mean. But I don't know what this other person is. I didn't see him one other time. I'm sure. I said, I don't know what I mean. The other person came up from downstairs. And they were in the room. I don't know what that other person is. I've seen them once before. What did it look like? Can you stand up on this, please? I'm sorry. No problem. Uh, How are you? Yeah. Stand up. Not that tall. So in between them. So. Stop. I don't know what that means. Hun, stop. Hun, hun, stop. We call them hun. Hun, stop. Okay. Like how someone calls them honey, like short. Hun, stop. Okay. Okay. And I looked at it. What does this mean? Sleep was laying on the chair already. What sleep? I showed you. Oh, no. Sure. The gun chair. The gun sleep. Oh, okay. The gun sleep was laying on the chair already. What did he look like? I would say mid 40s. Spiked hair. Spiky hair. No glasses. Very nice teeth. Super nice teeth. They smell like crown. That would explain why. Why what? You know, my kiss is only before the downstairs to where I stand up there. I don't know. Where did I mean, yeah, I'm just trying to wrap my head around this, obviously. I mean, I, why did you never tell me this before? That, I, that would have told me so much more. So that's why I don't understand why now. There is, there is, I understand dignity, but there's nothing dignity about what happened to Chad. Sorry. But that's, that's what, I, I want you to have dignity too. I'm sorry. That's okay, I'm okay. I'm, okay. I've seen him before with but, Chad. But, if he if he's so angry that you're leaving, why is he calling him hun? If he if he's in love with you and he he doesn't want you to leave, and he has another a, a lover there, a boyfriend or whatever this guy is, this one, why does he? Before, if he's had a girlfriend, I said no, I don't know. But I've heard rumors in town. What have you heard? Have you seen somebody else? Do you have any idea like what he would be involved in as far as that? I know Chad's deep in debt with gambling. Chad is deep in debt with gambling? What? Gambling. That was another thing. Why didn't you tell me that? I don't know where no gambles at. I know he's been gambling. Nikki, this isn't This isn't making sense to me. How would he know this guy? How would you not mention that he was there? Where? At the races. At the races? You don't know his name at all? No, but I think it's 
We came up to Chatsworth's show, and Chad goes, what are you doing here? And I don't know. I've seen it before. I, I can't wrap my head around it, Nikki. I, I, I want you to be honest with me. I want you to tell me so I can understand. But I, I can't get my head around this, that all of a sudden you tell me there's this new guy. That doesn't make sense to me why you didn't tell me this before. And why is, why is Chad angry at you for leaving if he has someone there that's calling him Hunt? Another man in front of other people. That's an intimate relationship. That's close. Why does he care where you go if he has this intimate relationship with someone? Because his family was alone when we first got together. His family came to swim out with a different family. I am an offer more to him than what his ex wife did. I have the kids. I make the bishop look perfect. What do you need to ask us? I'm going to talk. Take the call here. Okay. I need my first wife in here. Okay. I'm going to talk. But I need to read one of my talking. I think it's in your best interest right now to talk, right? And I don't think at this point you're in a position to bargain with us, are you? No. Okay. So I think you need to do what's in your best interest, and it, what's in your best interest right now is not trying to bargain with us. I think at this point we have tried so hard with you, we've tried to help you as much as we can, and at this point, you know what? Um, you don't want to play ball or you don't. Okay, I'm ready for that. Okay, when, so tell me when did you want to say? I don't know what happened. I sat in the car. Tell, tell me about this. When was this? When I was in the car. Uh-huh. So that was like one ten in the morning? Yes. Okay. We had an argument. Mm-hmm. I went back out. We had in the car. I had in the car. I was like, he'd come out. He said, go in the car. Who's he? Oh. Okay. He said, go in the car. So we did. So you got in an, where were you when you got in an argument? Mm. Okay, and where was it all? Mm. Okay. And so you got married and then you walked out? Is that my understanding right? Okay. Mm -hmm. How long were you in the car waiting for Earl? This is all the same shit you told us earlier. Mine is just the fact that you went out to the car before Earl did. It's all the exact same shit. I don't, I don't know. He told you, Nikki. He told you what happened in there. 
Now is your time to tell us. Because it, you know what, Bill would not have let you go back into that house and not have told you. No. Because what if you went to the back bedroom, went back to the master bedroom, and Earl's just standing in the kitchen going, huh? No. Yeah. And then what? They argued and then what? Yeah, okay. So that was Earl and Chad, not this mystery guy. Then what? I went out into the car. Okay. And I'll be wearing a sweatshirt now. Why? You asked what happened. What happened. And what did Earl say? Earl said he's not alive. And then he what? Was, he might not be alive. I don't know for sure. He's a what? And then what did Earl tell you? Because we are in the back of the mirror and he was back and forth. And what happened when the gun went off? I didn't hear the car. Okay, but what what did Earl say happened when the gun went off? I didn't hear the car. I didn't hear the car. Then what happened? I didn't hear the car. And what happened after that? What did Earl? Think why you had to go back to that house. I said I had to go back and get my bags. Right then, you said that when he, or the we next morning. The next morning, I said I need my bags. Right. We went back to the hotel. Okay, so here's my question for you regarding that. So, Chad's your husband, right? So, Earl comes out and says that he shot, or that Chad got shot in the house, and he might not be. It never occurred to you to want to go check on him? I said, what? That's my name. You didn't want to go check on Chad? Who came back to set the fire? How did he do it? See him doing. Did he bring anything with him? Did he tell you he was going to set a fire? This went in the house. No, you didn't. You did not go back to that house, just for no reason. He had to have told you, said what was going to happen, Nikki. We're at this point already. Why? Tell me what Earl said. Why was he doing this? And you being his wife, I don't believe that you all oh, just sit in the car and wait. I'm not going to go check on Chad yet. So it's now been five hours since he's been shot, and you don't think at some point you would want to go check on him? Unless you already knew what his condition was. I never seen him. Why not? Earl said he wasn't alive anymore? How did Earl know? The second time? And then what did Earl do? Nick, what did Earl do? Okay. Yes. 
He said he tipped it over and then it did tip over. I think he does all after the fact though, but he came back to start that fire. Who planned that part? Was that you or was that Earl? You didn't plan to come and set the house on fire. No. Earl did. How is he going to set that house on fire? I think you've already told me. Just come free yourself. What's going to we'll talk about that afterwards, but I got to know what the full story is too. Right now you're still... We're having to cut this up every second. What did Der Earl come back to do with the propane tank? Tip it. Don't do this to For what reason? So he was scared. You said he was scared. Okay. Because we argued. Okay, I got that. That's... Yeah. Did he tell you anything else about the fire? you guys come back to check? Did Earl want to come back to check if that house had burnt down? When was that? Okay. And what did he say when that house hadn't burnt down yet? Okay. And when it wasn't burnt down, what did he say? I know what I would think. What did he say? He said the house was hot. So he went into the house? He said he couldn't go in the house. He said it was too hot. So you, okay, so that happened. You guys came back to the house. Earl went in, moved the propane tank so that it would start the house on fire. And then you guys came back again and checked, and the house still hadn't burned down. I didn't come back. You didn't go back with that time? Okay. And the house still hadn't burned down. Okay, did he say did he go back in? No, he said he didn't go back in. Why? I don't think he didn't go back in. You know what I said? He said the house was hot. And he told me. What did he tell you about the fight? He said they were arguing. They were arguing about this meeting around here. And he said that. say about how many times it went off? So why didn't you go back in and check on him? that Chad was gone?
I'm trading away. And the last time I traded away, we both had chips. Maybe I need more. But I'm trying to all the way from that. So you were in the house arguing with Chad. Yes. Did you ever go back in that house until you went back in with him? But we know that Earl went back twice, at least twice, right? So what, what did you guys do in the meantime? So you get back to the hotel and Earl, because Earl had already told you that he shot Chad and Chad might not be alive. Um, I cried. Okay, so when, when Chad, or when Earl shot Chad, did he tip the propane heater over then? Or was it when he went back the next morning? I was a little confused on that when, when he went back. So the house was not starting to lit on fire when he shot Chad. That was only when he went back another time. So what did you guys do that night then? So you get home and there's about a three, four hour gap from when you get back to the hotel till when you guys go back out there. You, you cry. What else? I said, I don't know. I said, it's not. Uh -huh. I don't know. I don't know. Nikki, whose idea was it to call in Chad on Tuesday morning? No, I mean, you told me I was supposed to call him. Right, but it doesn't just happen, though. Chad's not going to go to work. Whose idea mean, was that? The I mean, Tuesday. I, I know, but. Why would, if, if Chad is dead and you know that, why would you still call him then? Whose I idea was that? I'm scared. There's other plays in my head. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay, so you weren't trying to take time to figure anything out? No. That's a victim I'm scared. What about then on the second when his co workers are out at the house and they call you and say, hey, he didn't show up for work, and you just basically tell him, I'm busy at work right now, I'll check on it later. What was your going through your mind at that point? Because you knew exactly why Chad wasn't. I didn't know who was my friend. Sorry. Why did you, then, did you talk with Earl when they started calling from work? No, because I've been crazy busy. Nikki. And then I Your husband know. just died in a really weird, crazy circumstance that just snowballed out of control. You can't tell me that you weren't thinking of that. That I had was. to be every second of your life from the I time know. it happened. I talked to him, obviously, yes, I talked to him. Okay, what did you guys talk about? I just told myself this is nuts. So I just told me I don't understand because this is going to be crazy. Mm -hmm. I said, all I've been wanting to do was stop drinking. Right. You guys too. Right. That's all I ever wanted. What did Earl say to do? What did you guys talk about? What did you guys think to do? This is that part where I'm trying to understand. I said, I don't know. I said, I don't know. I said, I said, I don't know. I said, 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 and everybody was being so mean to me about my phone and everything. Yeah. And I said, I just want to understand. I said, he's so nice to me. He said, I just want to go talk to him. Right. And every time I tried calling you, you never called me back. And I called so many times. And I called, I called, I called. I wanted to talk to you earlier. And, and he does what I'm talking about. And I, I called, I called, I called. Okay, and that's why we're talking now. Okay. And I called. And we're getting, we're, we can get past that point. point. Okay. That's that's your conscience telling you to do the right thing. Okay. That's the mother in you of two children telling you you have to take care of them. You have to come forward. You have to tell them. So tell me what those conversations were so I can understand and I can make sense of this. And like I said, if this is something that snowballed out of control, like you said, that that can make sense, right? But I, I can't, I can't keep dragging these answers out of you. I can't keep dragging what happened. Telling. I can't ask for the truth any harder. I kept telling 
No, is it? Is it? I'm, I just want to talk to him. I said, I just want to talk to him. And he was calling that. And I said, I do. And he never answers my phone and calls. And I said, I don't understand. You never call me back. And I called pretty anyway, like the next day already. And I called. And I called. And I came out with you the next day? No. The Friday? No. Or Monday. I apologize. Monday. But I called me like, even after you had my phone. I know I that was on the weekend. I, I didn't have that phone. I'm sorry. And I called. They called. They even called down here. And later, it didn't work again. And I said, I just want to talk to him. Okay. I just really want to talk to him. Okay. Well, we're talking now, Mickey. And I was like, I just need to talk to him. They called you every time. So you never called me back. All right. We got to get past that, Mickey. We're talking now. So that's okay. I apologize. I'm sorry, but we're talking now. Nikki, we're not questioning why you're only telling us this now. Right, we understand. This, this, this I understand. This is understandable, that. I just don't understand. I said, this is crazy. I said, I don't understand. I said, I just don't understand. I can't even think. It's just nuts. I said, I went from. Judge Douglas Barr sentenced Nikki Sue Ensel to life with the possibility of parole for conspiring to murder her husband. Enstel must serve a minimum of 85% of her sentence, expected to be 36 years. We, the jury, duly impaneled and sworn to try the above entitled action, do make the following finding regarding the defendant Nikki Sue Melissa Ensel. Conspiracy to commit murder. As to the charge of conspiracy to commit murder, we find the defendant, Nikki Sue Melissa Insel, guilty. Conspiracy to commit arson. As to the charge of conspiracy to commit arson, we find the defendant, Nikki Sue Melissa Insel, guilty. Conspiracy to tamper with physical evidence. As to the charge of conspiracy to tamper with physical evidence, we find the defendant, Nikki Sue Melissa Insel, Guilty. Do either of the attorneys want to poll the jury? Yes, Your Honor. I need each jury member to confirm that all three of those verdicts were their individual verdicts. And so we can start with nine and go across. And um, do we have a microphone? If you would just state your the jury juror number and then whether all three you found guilty for all three charges. Number nine and guilty on all three charges. Number 40 and guilty on all three charges. Number five and guilty on all three charges. Juror four, guilty on all charges. Juror 44, guilty on all charges. Juror 29, guilty on all three charges. Juror 18, guilty, guilty on all three charges. Jury 14, guilty on all three charges. Juror 30, guilty on all three charges. Juror 1, guilty on all three. Jury number 17, guilty on all three charges. Jury number 26, guilty on all three charges. Thank you. And thank you, members of the jury, for your service. I want you to know that if you wish, once we're done with the trial, you can discuss the case with others, including the attorneys, if they contact you and, and want to know what help 
impact your decision one way or the other or anything like that. You can. You don't have to discuss it with them, but you are allowed to. In light of the verdict of guilty, the court will be ordering a pre-sentence investigation. Sentencing will not be done today, but likely in about 60 days because it takes 30 plus days to get the pre-sentence investigation. Although I will read this at the time of sentencing, I do need to advise Ms. Insel of her right to appeal within 30 days of the entry of judgment, which will be after the sentencing, uh, the judgment of conviction or the last motion, whichever is later, and the right to apply for an attorney if you're unable to afford one. So, Mr. Glass, anything further? No, Your Honor. Ms. Lawyer. No, Your Honor, thank you. I want to invite the members of the jury to wait in the jury room. I'll come back and talk with any of you about your experience or anything, answer any questions. But you're welcome to leave if you want. And as for your information, like I mentioned, sentencing will not be done today because we have what's called a pre-sentence investigation to gather additional information to help the judge make a more informed decision when deciding the appropriate sentence. So thank you, everyone. I appreciate counsel's professional and um, courteous handling of the case. And we'll close until the sentencing hearing. Thank you.